Morning everyone, and Goff here. Well, it's my birthday in a couple of days, so um, it's one of the few times of the year I get sociable. And uh, so I've invited a few mates around, because I'll be 45, so it's a bit of a, mi a milestone. So uh, I'm going to be making Goffy's famous hedgerow burgers. So uh, I've decided to let the secret out and show you all how they're made. So um, it doesn't really matter, um, you can just make it with rabbit if that's all you've got, but um, I've been uh, saving stuff in the freezer, so um, we're going to use one good sized rabbit. We've got three squirrels and uh, the breasts of three wood pigeons. So that's going to be our main meat. We also need some belly pork from the local butchers, but um, I don't know how much we need until we've stripped all the meat off these and weighed it, and then we'll have the same amount in belly pork. So we'll go to the butchers when we've done that. You're also going to need a, a couple of onions and uh, a little bit of ground cinnamon and uh, the secret ingredient oh, I don't know if I should tell you this because this is what makes them so good but the secret ingredient is actually Paxo sage and onion mm -mm -mm. so you're gonna need one of these mincer things to get it all into you know minced up together and uh, a burger press I mean I suppose you could j just do it by hand but um, they're already a couple of quid these and uh, they're excellent so um, I'm going to have to strip all the meat off now and uh, we'll weigh that up. So um, you might as well sit down and make a cup of tea because I think this is going to be a bit of an epic vid. So uh, we'll come back when I've got all the weight, uh, the meat cut off and we'll know what weight of belly pork I need and then we'll zip into Helston and get some of that. So I'll see you in a bit. Right on. Okay, so um, that's all the meat taken off the rabbits and the squirrels and the, the pigeons chopped up. So now we just have, have to weigh this and... Uh, get the same amount in belly pork so I've obviously got a plate set on the scales so I don't want to weigh the plate so this little lot comes to well that's just under uh, two kilos so I'm gonna say one and a half kilos of belly pork that should be ample because um, otherwise I end up with 30 or 40 burgers and although I can I know people will get rid of them it's just a pain in the ass making that money so um, we'll get all the gear on, we'll jump on the bike and we'll uh, go to our local butchers and we'll get some belly pork. Here she is, my beautiful XJ600N diversion. It's a bit cold this morning so I'm just leaving a warm up for a minute or two. Lucky we've only got to go two miles, so I shouldn't get too cold. A uh, quick hug from your local butchers. Always support your local butcher. Fantastic. I've got some burgers while I was in there as well for people who aren't as adventurous as, as um, to eat the rabbit burgers. So we've got some of their very nice homemade beef burgers and a kilo of belly pork. Now for the ride home. Okay, so um, we've chopped up the belly pork now into chunks along with the rabbit, squirrel and wood pigeon. And uh, I've chopped and lovely lightly fried the onions just to soften them up a bit. And uh, they're just here on the plate to cool. So now I'm going to uh, set the min mincer up here and we're going to mince all this meat in together. Obviously we'll like put a piece of rabbit, piece of pork, piece of squirrel, piece of pork to make sure it's all nicely mixed. So. Um, I'll try and set up the tripod and we'll get this bad boy working. Okay, uh, this is a new grinder for me. Uh, I used one of the old fashioned ones before. Um, one of these bloody old ones here. And uh, it wasn't particularly good. So um, I've invested, well I haven't invested, it belongs to my mother. Mother's invested in one of these posh looking ones. So um, hopefully it'll be easier than the other one. So we're going yeah, we, to have a bit of grinding action. So we'll get a mixture of uh, bits of everything. Squirrel, pigeon, pork. And we'll see how she goes. That seems to be alright. I 
maybe I should have chopped this rabbit up a bit more. Hey ho. Hopefully it'll go through alright. Where's your doobie? Right, so um, yeah, I'll I'll do that, and we'll come back when I've done all that because it's going to take me twenty minutes or more. See you in a minute. Okay, so we've got all the mince, uh, minced up meat now in this bowl. Uh, we got the pork, the rabbit, the squirrel, and the pigeon. It's all been put through the mincer. I've added one packet of the Paxo here. I uh, I ground it up a bit first with the rolling pin to help smooth it out a bit. Um, the cooled down onions and two teaspoonfuls of cinnamon and uh, I'm going to mix it all up now into a nice big doughy bowl and then we'll get the burger machine out and we'll start making some burgers okay so uh, I've done a few now so um, I'll show you how this burger press thing works it's quite simple um, it comes with a load of these wax sheets you put one in the bottom Grab some of your burger mix. Believe me, I've got enough to feed an army as usual. I would make far too many of these. Switch it around a bit, a bit more than that. Wipe your hands in your trousers. Put another one on the top. Put the lid on. And press. Off. And there you go. I got about another 50 of these to make. So, um, as you can see, I made plenty of mixes and all. But um, there's plenty of people in the village I can give these to. They're, they're always very popular, these. So, uh, it's, it's my birthday tomorrow. So, I'm having a few people round and um, I'll film the taste test and see what people think about them. So, um, I shall see you tomorrow at my, my, my wild 45th birthday party. Well, final little update for the day. Um, we had just over two kilos worth of meat all told. And uh, we made 27 burgers out of that. So um, I'm having two for me lunch because I, I think I deserve it. So like I said, um, tomorrow night is my birthday. I'm going to be over at Mrs. Goff's house in Lower Pengegan. And uh, just having a few friends around. And um, I'll see what they make of my burgers. But um, they all enjoyed them last time I made them. So... So yes, you're all invited to my birthday party tomorrow. We've got fireworks and everything. So I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers and gone. Yeah, hello. Hello, hello. Um, my name's Jen Dennis. <laughs> oh, that's a load of bollocks. <laughs> right, this is, Alan, what do you think of the, the burger then? That's right, Jolly well done, Rick. Thank you. Jolly well, it's very nice, very tasty. Karen? Burger. Yeah, I think they're delicious. <laughs> well, that's good enough for me, then. Yeah, but you're ugly. Oh, look, oh, look at the carrot, oh, look. Oh, oh. Well, it's Mrs. Goff, you don't see her very often. Oh, hiding, behind hiding behind her vodka. <laughs> right, well, that's it. Yeah, fireworks. <laughs> uh, woo! See you. <laughs> but I'm scared now. <laughs> Love it, don't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. The commentary is what's oh, going yeah. to be the best bit, isn't it? Yeah. Come on, then, boys. Oh, oh. I'm scared. <laughs> Don't drop that, will you? <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> oh, they're not big. Oh, no, they're not. Burger, what was it like? Very nice. Forever? Don't ask him. No. <laughs> alright? It was alright. Yeah. Jamie? I ate it. <laughs> <laughs>
Hmm. Baby. Baby. Hmm. My mother. My bur the burger. Very nice. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I want you to tell me, Stephen, what you think of the burger, please. Honestly. Honestly, yeah. Very nice. <laughs> Thank you very much. Very tasty. Steve Glasson, X the breed, I believe. That is correct. <laughs> that is correct yes. But not a lot of people know that. Not a lot of people know that. <laughs> Cheers to God. No. Right. This is Anne Goff, live from Lower Pengegan. Uh, tears and golf. <laughs> <laughs>